how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name is Eben. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing for a lot of important information on your vehicle. So today we're here at Renegade Hybrids and what this is, is this is a specialty company that takes Porsche, Germany's, among Germany's best, and what they do is they make fast German cars faster. We're at Renegade. Come on in. Check it out. So here is some uh, some of the write-ups here How's it going, man? on the builds. What's going on? Hey, I'm Jody. I just called. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Renegade. So this is Scott right here. He's the owner. And this is Peter Brock. He's a race legend that uh, built the Corvettes. He did the C2 Corvette Stingray. He's a designer for GM. The heck are you? Hey, how's it going, Scott? Even. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I actually knew who you were. Yeah, and I know that you're like the, the Amsoil god and all that sort of stuff. But um, I know Jack. Oh, okay. Right. Well, actually, Jack's a friend of mine. I know Squat. All right. All right. I don't have any friends named Squat, but <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I know Nada. Let's put it that way. That's for our our, our uh, people, uh, friends south of the border. That is um, when right. it comes to Amsoil products. Right. So you're going to teach me that, about that. Perfect. But I know that you're asking just before we went to tape. That's like the official the official word for it. Mm -hmm. You're asking about these things right here. Yeah. We are Renegade Hybrids. We're the ones that do the V8 conversions to Porsches. Some people refer to us as the Antichrist. Um, other people refer to us as um, damn good company, been around for 35 years, and we put uh, we, we put really really um, big amounts of testosterone in little cars. And so uh, you can take a quick little look right here. Uh, we just hung this motor in the uh, in the car today. This is a 2008 uh, Cayman S. Uh, that is an LS7. And yes, it will have a throttle body on it and stuff like that. So we just put the motor in. So please. Uh, understand that you're seeing a, a work in progress. But um, I understand that you might just have a product that I'm gonna wanna put in this, or several products. Of course. So give me the spiel, yeah, you got a box. Give me, right. Show me some stuff. Let's start out with Signature Series. All right. Signature so, Series what? So this is 100% synthetic motor oil. Okay, and so this is not hand cream, right? No, it's not. It's, not. it's uh, <laughs> slippery. Signature Series. It's I think of something like hand cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, it's so, slippery. Yep, synthetic so. motor oil. And it's 040. Yes, all right, so that viscosity is the new technical bulletin on like the C7 Stingray. Okay. And that's what comes in the Gen 5 Viper. And that's what we're going to be putting in Scott's car. And that's basically... Uh, the best of the best at the moment for street driving and a little bit of track days if you're mixing it. There it is, That's folks. It. And this oil outperforms Mobile Parker's One. Beauty. Yep. We'll just do it this way. Outperforms Mobile One extended performance by four times in turbocharger deposit testing. So it burns off at about half the rate of Mobile One extended performance, and uh, it's good for one year, 15,000 miles of severe service. So even in Scott's car with doing donuts, track days, with the filter and the oil, you're good for one year, 15,000 miles. You know what I'm gonna do in this video sometime during the course of this? I'm gonna crack him up so much that he won't be able to talk. I'm gonna try, right, right, we're, right. we're gonna see if it works. All right, yep. so we got this taken care of, right? Yeah, that's good, all right, cool. Yep. We'll just throw that yep. around. Yep. All right, cool. right. <laughs> they've got it, they lived in a break, all right? So, okay, so now, this is a box. Yep, so inside, and inside the box is a round thing. Yep, inside the Ladies box. and gentlemen, this is an oil filter. Yep. But it, it looks exactly like every other oil filter that I pick up from Napa and O'Reilly's and AutoZone and GM and AC Delco and all that sort of stuff. Yes. What makes this so special? Great question, Scott. <laughs> yeah, great question. So the, the synthetic medium, the paper material, is a synthetic medium that holds four times the contaminants than cellulose paper. It's good for one year, 15,000 miles, and it filters at 98.7% efficiency at 20 microns. So that's the difference, and it flows uh, better than OEM filters. So there's less restriction and uh, everything else. And it doubles as one of Frankenstein's bolts. Yep. <laughs> All right, perfect, that's done. All right, perfect. 
Yeah. I'm not going to throw this because yeah, it's going to go on my car. <laughs> All right. So okay. Oh, cool. And we have a beverage. Is it an adult beverage? It, it is for the engine. It is. Oh. And, yep. This right here. You're crack me up. Oh, yeah. This is pretty good. It's like, it's like hard vodka. What this is, is this is going to clean you out. You put this in the crankcase, put this in the crankcase, and in just 10 to 15 minutes, what it does is it breaks all the deposit out of the crankcase, you flush it right out, you change the oil. So this is the Blackberry brandy version of, yep. <laughs> of, a, of an automotive additive. Got it. Yep. <laughs> Guaranteed to do the good old flush. And so this is going to go in my daily driver. All right, we'll yep. see what happens. Now we're on to this PI Performance Improver. Oh, okay, so I get it. This is the red wine, and this is the white wine. Yeah, that's the white. Okay, so yep. this is yep. room temperature, and I see that this is a little bit chilled. <laughs> yeah, so this is, what this is, is this is Amsoil's proprietary fuel additive. It cleans all the ethanol varnish out of the fuel system, cleans the valves, cleans the injectors, and it also gets deposits out of the combustion chamber itself. Okay. That's it. Very good. Pretty much ready to rock. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to go to my daily. So come on over here. All right. Don't laugh. It is a Boxster. The reason why I chose the Boxster is primarily because of the fact that it was really cheap. It's the Boxster S. I've actually had this car for about five or six years now, and I beat the holy snot out of this thing, and I, I just really do. It has an LS2 in it. Why? Because it was really cheap. Um, it has the Boxster S transaxle, um, and... Uh, it's been beaten up, it's been flogged, it's been played with and so on and so forth. I do track events with it, things like that. The, the main reason why this is such a great car is because people that are looking to do the conversion can relate. If I had some you know, really, really nice high-end turbo car with a, you know, a big twin screw LS7 in it or something like that, which I would love to have, uh, that's just a lot of car, people don't relate. When I give them a ride in this, they go, holy smoke, there's nothing really special about the motor, nothing special about the car. Very little uh, performance upgrades as far as suspension and brakes and things like that. I do have a Terex sway bar on it because I love Ira and Didi. They're fantastic and they have great products and that's the one thing that it kind of needed. And then I just have this, this basic LS2. But this LS2 actually sits at 6,000 RPM a lot. And so because of that, I decided to look up even and I wanted to know more about Amsoil and I see so many racers that are using it. So um, we're going to start uh, we're gonna start throwing all of this uh, liquid gold into this car. We're going to see what happens. And he says that I'm guaranteed, guaranteed to feel it and all that sort of stuff. And by the way, I, I'm going to vet you because one of the things I'm going to do in the not too distant future, because I will go to Amazon and I'll keep putting it in. I'm actually going to have this motor torn down and I have some work done to it. So I'm going to take it my engine builder and I'm going to have him say, you know what? That Amsoil stuff was really good or it was really crappy. So we'll see what he says. All right. So we're going to cut to the chase. We're going to get this up. I've got Gavin, one of my, my lead techs. He's going to start helping us drain some oil and do all that sort of stuff. So stick around. Here comes the fun stuff. Okay, so even says that the first thing that I need to do is I need to put some flush in there. We basically need to uh, get the douche fluid in there so that we can um, evacuate all of the um, impurities within the bowels of this motor. So uh, we've got the flush fluid, we've got Gavin that's going to pour it in. And then what we're going to do is once it's in there, which we'll probably use a funnel, otherwise half of it will go on the outside. <laughs> we put it in there. You've got to run the motor for 10 minutes. And so um, he says by doing that, that means it's going to spread it around, loosen up some things, get all sorts of floaters out of there. You get the idea. And last night's corn on the cob should come out as well. So if you don't get that reference, you may want to just go to another video. But if you do get that reference, there'll be more of those later. <laughs> so here we go. The douche fluid. It's happening. We got to do, we got to do the label. You got to spin it around so that they're, they're product branding. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> That'll make Eben really happy. Right. It's in, firing it up. Okay, the douche fluid is in. Contact! Haley, it doesn't look pretty. I don't care. Because when I put my foot on the floor, it's very satisfying. 10 minutes. No, you don't have to sit here for 10 minutes and watch this. We'll just do this kind of miraculous thing and BAM! It's kid proof. Since I'm a kid, ah, I got it. Okay, here we go. So, this is actually gonna go into the tank. And so, that 10 minute period of time is kind of clicking along. And while that 10 minute period of time is happening, 
we're waiting for the douche fluid to do its thing. We're actually going to go to the top end and kind of work on the esophagus part of the uh, of the motor, if you would. Uh, hence the nice analogy. We're going to dump some of this in the tank, and we're going to get this kind of up there. Then it's going to sit up there, and it's going to work on all the little carbon deposits and things like that at the top end of the motor, and it's going to do its little thing. You know how I know all this? Because he even told me. Ha <laughs> ha. Name recognition, there's the label, there it is, right there, I know. Label placement is everything. Amsoil, I hope you're getting this. Send me the check, send me the check, come on. So I just said bam, just like, I don't know, 20 seconds ago, and then we just cut to that little piece where we put a little bit of that jism in the, uh, I don't know, in the gas tank that's supposed to make the injectors happy, and now we're underneath the car staring into a bright LED light, and we're about to see what's gonna come out of it. And it should be, uh, I don't know, some black stuff. Black gold, Texas tea. I'm sorry, I just dated myself. So, uh, for those people that used to watch the Beverly Hillbillies, yeah, I'm getting old. Wang, ding, 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 ding. All right, so there we go, it's coming out. So according to Even, he says that by adding that douche fluid, um, that's gonna be the new Amsoil rep's way of describing that stuff. It's called douche fluid. I'm gonna be the one that's coined that. Someone answer their phone. <laughs> anyway, um, he says that it's going to come out like water, and it's pretty much coming out like water, that's for sure. And then towards the end, as opposed to just continuing to dribble out, kind of like this, it's going to start dripping out, and it's going to kind of glob out. In other words, uh, at the end, the, the big sooty, crappy stuff is going to come out. And uh, I have no idea whether it's really going to happen or not, but it sounds good to me. So far, I'm sold. So uh, we're getting down towards the end. I do have an oil cooler on this, and because there is an oil cooler, it's going to take a little while to get it all out, but um, it's going to it's gonna keep going. I'm going to roll this over to the moon for the uh, last little bit of dribble, dribble, dribble to come out of the oil pan. So we're going to go ahead and carefully release our uh, oil filter. Oh, look at that, look at that. Now, so I asked Steven a couple things while we were doing this whole entire routine. I said, should I rev up the engine? And he says, oh no, 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 don't do that. Let that filter just kind of slowly but surely pick up all of the particulate. There's a big word for you. And um, let it do its thing. And then uh, I said, okay, um, so then what happens? And he says, your old oil filter will be spent. I mean, it's going to be filled with crap. And the new one goes on and... Uh, Freshness occurs, and so um, it's going to be that spring freshness after the douche. All right, so we're going to go ahead and prime the edge of that thing, just like that, and then we're going to hold that only because of the fact that I'm going to probably spill it all over the place. We'll hold it over our drip pan. We'll go ahead and fill the sucker up. Glue, 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 glue. Alright, AMS oil is going into the filter. Woo, there we go. And up it goes. Well, Gavin has completed the filter installation. The um, new, or the drain plug is back in and the new oil is ready to go in. So now we have to put the new oil on the top side. So uh, we are, uh, we're done underneath here. Let's go up top. Time for the good stuff, Gavin. We have added all the oil, not just any oil, but the AMS oil, not just any AMS oil, but the 0W40 that even said that I need to use. And so I am wiping, cleaning, and reinserting. You know, keep in mind that an oil change is almost like, I don't know, watching paint dry, watching water boil. It's about the dumbest and slowest and most horrible thing you could ever possibly do on video. Well, then you need to know that the person that's actually doing the videotaping is even himself. And um, you need to know about his past. He used to do a lot of stuff in front of the camera and it involved no clothing. And so, yeah, he's one of those guys. Yeah, I'm just telling you, all right? Um, I don't know, I think we're, think we're pretty good. Got a lot more interesting. Oil changes got more interesting, right? See, told you. And now he's laughing like crazy. You can see the whole camera. Yeah, see, see, see? I busted him up, folks. I busted him up. I'm gonna double check one more time. All right. 
Yeah. Told you. I made the promise. I made the promise. <laughs> All right. Pulling the dipstick out. Making sure I drip it all over my car because I really don't care. Okay, we're down an eighth of a quart. So we're going to put the last little tiny bit of this black gold. I'm going to put, I don't know, put an eighth out of that. Thank you, my friend. Yes, Gavin works for me and he puts up with all of this really, really raunchy, stupid sense of humor. That's why he has no sense of humor at all. He's just very, he's monotone. He has about as much humor as a library book. I, it's, I'm telling you, but he's smart. <laughs> he really is. He's, uh, yeah. There it is. I'll oh, put in a touch more for good measure. That should be perfect. By the way, folks, we did fire it up. Run it so that the filter got all nice and full, and there is an oil cooler on this thing, so the oil cooler, yes, got it's a little bit of douching as well. And so we, uh, we're not stupid. We at Renegade Hybrids, we're professionals. And we don't want you to try this at home. Well, actually, we do want you to try it at home. So, um, okay, we're there. So the one thing that I did notice when we did fire it up when it had five quarts in it, honestly, got to say this, you know, the whole LS knock thing, especially LS2s, LS1s, they have a tendency of doing that. You know how it knocks and then it just kind of keeps knocking? Well, after it built up pressure, after about three seconds, it didn't knock. You know, it's that little tiny bit of knock on the bottom end that every LS owner goes, oh my God, I hate how it sounds. And then like when it turns over 300,000 miles and it still does the very same knock that it did the day that you bought it, you kind of go, well, I guess it's meant to be there. Well, when I put in the AMSOIL and uh, fired it up just now, there was no knock after three seconds. I don't know what that means. I actually think it might be symptoms of the fact that it's just going to go boom and spread itself all over my shop here in about 30 seconds, or it could be a good thing. We'll find out. Well, we just did the, uh, the full AMSOIL treatment, and uh, just to recap, even, take it away. So what we did was we did our 0W40 Signature Series motor oil. That's AMSOIL's best motor oil, it's 100% synthetic, it outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times and turbocharger deposit testing, and it burns off at half the rate of Mobile One Extended Performance. We did our AMSOIL filter, which filters at 98.7% efficiency, good for one year, 15,000 miles of severe service. There's a quiz at the end of the period. Yep, and then we've got our engine flush that we did. We got all the contaminants out of the crankcase. So, uh, and then we also did our PI Performance Improver, which is a fuel injection cleaner. It's proprietary, cleans the valves, cleans the uh, ethanol varnish out of the fuel system, and it also cleans the combustion chamber inside. That's it. I love it when he says combustion. There's just something about it, I don't know. It's All right, I want everybody to notice that yes, it has rips in the cover and the top's not in very good shape. It's a desert car, it's a Las Vegas. It beat the holy crap out of this car. But I do want it to last. And so he says that I'm going to be impressed. Now I did fire it up for a few moments there in order to create a little oil pressure and make sure that our levels were all nice and perfect. And as I mentioned just a couple seconds ago, the knock, 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 which was uh, the LS way of saying good morning, was not there. So um, let's try it again. Yeah, I'm actually really genuinely curious. Let's see what happens. <laughs> persuade to drink the Kool-Aid for anybody. I'm the one that normally says your product is crap and I don't really care and stuff like that. I gotta say, I did have, and I told you about this in advance, I did have something going on, a really, really low idle, like barely, barely tip in like from a signal or something like that, just a little tiny bit of a hesitation. It actually felt like a little bit of an injector dropout type thing. I actually thought it was gonna be electrical harness type of deal, 
possibly, um, I don't know, uh, something to do more electrically related. But I started thinking, you know what? Because it wasn't rhythmic, like a particular cylinder, like um, you know, a plug or a plug wire or a coil packer or something along those lines, it, I, you know, it, was, it was more along the lines of the batch. I, I, I didn't really know. And then I started thinking, after we talked about the injector cleaner, I started thinking it might actually be injector related. Because I put crap gas in this car. The only time I put good gas in this car is if I'm going, I'm serious, we talked about this. I, I literally, I, I don't care, I go to Costco, I go to Sam's Club, I go to Arco. I do put the premium version of the Arco gas in it, but I, I know it's crap gas, I realize that. But if I'm just, you know, zooming out of Grand Canyon Drive or something like that, I don't really care. When I go to the track, yeah, I put some better gas in it and things like that, no question about it. So. I just went out and scared the piss out of him. He actually has a biohazard in his Scaring pants right now. Yeah. Shit. And ran him up and down the street really quick. And the other thing that we did is we actually stuck him in second gear and we lugged it to try to find out whether there was any sort of hesitation anymore, any of that, that, that kind of funny little feeling that we had. Uh, and then we stuck him in second gear, tipped into the brake, and allowed the idle basically to kind of creep it forward and stuff like that. Also to try to figure out what's going on, whether there is any sort of issues, smooth as glass. And when I say smooth as glass, absolutely, completely, totally, 100% smooth as glass, like a brand new engine. Then I'm thinking, okay, well, so the oil should make a difference on high rev. And because I wanted to not only make him piss his pants, but also because of the fact that I wanted to take it up to the rev limit, um, I blast it up and down the street really quick a couple times. It zings up really, really quick and it's really happy, but it seems like it's a little smoother when it's up there nice and happy. So. I don't know. I don't know whether this stuff is snake oil or not. I don't really know whether um, this guy's just a fig newton of my imagination or not. I have no idea. Um, but he, he's got a good smile. He's got a nice product. I know it's got really great reputation. But the proof is in the pudding. I'm kind of already starting to drink the Kool-Aid. And I will get back to you in the next, I don't know, three or four oil changes. Next, uh, I don't know, six months or so. And I will honestly let you know whether Rams oil is the stuff. But so far, I'm kind of digging it. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate you trying. Yeah, not a yeah. problem. Renegade Hybrids, uh, www.renegadehybrids.com, 702-739-8011. Porsche with V8, big horsepower, lots of fun conversion kits. We do in-house conversions, uh, all sorts of fun stuff for track cars as well, things like that. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please check us out. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our video. Uh, uh, video page, I'm sorry, our, our uh, YouTube, I, I'm getting tired, yep. you know, our <coughs> YouTube yeah, yeah. and Facebook, and we got Amsoil products and websites and stuff like that, and Evan's going to tell you about that right now. Yep, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to Scott's page, it's right here, and uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime, we'll see you guys back next time. It's, right, it's yeah. right there? It's right here. Yep. That's, that's, that's right it. here. That's it right that's there. How are we doing? Are we yep. framing we're it? Good. We're good. It's right there. That's yep. pretty good. All right. We'll see you guys back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.